Sup y'all, I'm Intricately Random Asian, or Ira for short. Thank you very much for clicking on this random video that you happen to stumble upon on YouTube. If you've been here for a while, welcome to another load of randomness, but with a purpose. Buckle up your seatbelts and enjoy the ride. I know, I know it's been totally a long, long time that I haven't posted a learning Russian episode, but I've decided to finally get back into it because yo, I've been waking you guys wait like such a long time and now the wait is over. I'm terribly sorry. And from the day I post this video, it's going to be exactly like what my last episode was end of September. So it would have been September, November, no. Damn, I don't even know my months. September, October, November, December. It would have been three months exactly since my last episode. So guilty, guilty, I'm really sorry. And so I've decided to pick up exactly where I left off the last time. I believe I was learning um, greetings and I still have my notes right here. Got them ready. <laughs> so as you can see, I wrote like greetings and stuff. So what I remember was uh, Privyet, Zdrastvuti or something like that, sorry. Zdrasti. Um uh, No. Never mind. I, I can't read my Russian anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but there's dos vidanya, paka paka and spokoini noche or something like that. And yeah, so this lesson will just basically like re-put me in the bath of <laughs> the Russian language and at the same time uh, I believe there's gonna be like um, you know exposure to the alphabet again so it's gonna be like a uh, re-familiarization and relearning of like everything I would sort of seen until now so yeah it's going to be like a reintroductory lesson and all that so <laughs> wish me luck and yeah let's just get right into this lesson so I chose a video that wasn't too long and that was going to be like I believe straight forward into what I want to learn because you know I just realized that I don't even know how to say my name in Russian like how to introduce myself properly so yeah I just went ahead with this video and it looks promising so yeah let's just get right into it three a two a one at least get it oh my god I'm kind of nervous <laughs> weekly Hello, Russian welcome. with Natalia her accent is so oh my god <laughs> Ira. In this lesson, you learn simple greetings. We'll also practice introductions. Great, exactly what I need. How do you say hello in Russian? Привет! It's not an easy word. So at first, we'll oh. say it slowly. It's not the previous. Oops. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. In the square brackets. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Здра. In the second syllable, v is silent. Здравствуй. Здравствуйте. This word makes it formal. Literally, здравствуйте means be healthy. Oh wow. It is a verb. That's why the same word has both formal and informal form. Здравствуй and здравствуй. So when Russians meet, we spread good wishes and wish each other health. When nice. we meet a friend, we use inform It's like in Chinese when people say like uh Chifan mayo or something like that. It's like, uh, have you eaten yet? Or yeah, it's really nice how you know greetings in some languages mean like a certain phrase that wishes you like you know health or money or like have you eaten yet? You know, it's super fun. It's nice to know these things. Yeah. In English, it's just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Boring. Formal greeting. We say здравствуй, здравствуй. Здрасте is a colloquial form of this greeting. Здрасте. With our best friends or family, we can use even more informal greeting. Привет. Привет or всем привет, привет, right? Hello guys. Hi. And there's also a diminutive form of this greeting. Приветик. 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 Words to remember. Здравствуйте. Здравствуй, привет. 
I have those three already. Formal. Always use it with people you don't know well. Drastvui and Privet are for friends and family. Now let's take a look at introductions. Oh, I should write this down. Hold on. In Bruh. Introductions. Line. Okay. My name is in Russian. Minya Zavut. My nam is. <laughs> That's German. Sorry. My name is. Uh, let me put it in the bottom. Minya Zavut. And the name. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to write this down in the Cyrillic also. Minya, alright. Za. Wood. Literally, this phrase is they call me. In the beginning of every lesson, I introduce myself by saying, my name is Natalia. They call me Natalia. Minya Zavut Natalia. Minya, Minya is a form of personal pronoun I. Ya. Zavut is the verb call in the third person. They call. Как вас зовут? Oh, my name is. is what is your question. name? What is your name? And literally, how do they call you? The question cock is how. <laughs> cock. Was? <laughs> you know, uh, there's this Canadian comedian called Russell Peters, and I was watching one of his videos one day, and he was like, you know, Russians are very funny because the way they greet each other sounds like cock dealer, and I was like, what? And then he said, yo, cock dealer. <laughs> so at least I know how to say how are you in Russian. Because of that, kak dila. So I know that kak means how, which is awesome. Is you zavut they call? Kak vas zavut. Kak vas so zavut. Now ah, shnez, I just forgot to freaking write that down. They... What is your name? Was ist dein Name? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what is your name Kak Basavut and Kak B A C Z O B Wood. Alright, got him. Cool. Moving on. Kak Basavut. So now I'm going to ask you Kak Basavut. Mm, Minya Zavut Ira. Minya Zavut, and then your name. Yeah, I got it. Harasho. 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 Is it me or that sounds kind of like Japanese or Chinese or Korean even? Harasho. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? Well, good. Okay. Well. Good. Ha. Harasho. Uh, X is H. Harasho. Nice. Remember this word. Harasho. Harasho. I will remember this word, so Natalia. So we've used two pronouns. Oh my god. Minya and Vas. These are accusative forms of pronouns Ya, I, and Vu. Formal you. Oh man, this yo, these grammar stuff like make me so nauseous just looking at it. I'm like blah, 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 blah. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> accusative? What the hell is accusative again? It's when you do the action, right? Anyway. In Russian we have two forms for you. Formal we informal. Ty. A proper way to address a stranger is by using formal pronouns we and was. Как вас зовут? Как вас зовут? Как вас зовут? 
Yeah, that's what I wrote down. We can use informal ты and тебя in very informal situations, mostly among younger people. Как тебя зовут? Ah, right, okay, okay, I get it. Um, let me just write it here. This is formal. And как тебя зовут? Informal, right? Как yeah. Oh, shit. Bruh. Come on. Can't even write the yeah symbol properly. Yeah. Okay. And after introductions, we say nice to meet you. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Very приятно. Pleasant. Hmm. Sounds sexy. Okay, uh, uh, I don't want to put it in another page, so I'm going to just write, uh, okay, whatever, let's write it down here. Two thousand years later. Oh my god, the symbols. <laughs> oh. Chin. Pri. I wrote the na like an N instead of the H. Na. Okay. Очень приятно literally means very pleasant. The dialogue between two people meeting each other would consist of these phrases. Как вас зовут? What is your name? What's your name? My name is... Меня зовут. My name is... Очень приятно. Nice to meet you. This is all for beginning <gasps> Do svidanya, I know that. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Yes. Do svidanya. Очень приятно. I like how the last syllable is so, like, soft, you know? Alright. Thank you. What is thank you in Russian? Uh... Shit! Wait, what is thank you in Russian? Oh my god! What the hell is thank you? Spasiba! <laughs> oh my god! I swear! Whoa, the blank in that was so real! I like, yo, I felt like I was in a black hole. I was like, wait, all the languages are just turning except Russian? Oh my god, that's messed up! All right, so great. That was a nice review. So I already knew Privyet, Zdrasvutsi, or something like that. I still can't get it right. Zdrasti, do svidania. Now I know how to say Minya zavut Ira. By the way, like I know Ira is like a Russian sounding name derived from arena okay i know that i know so, someone told me this four years ago during university from a russian dude okay and it was so annoying oh my god and you know i've been getting a lot of comments about it that oh my god your name is arena in russian did you know that i'm like yes okay i know and to be way completely honest like i'm really not a big fan of my name like if freaking like if i could change my name i would change it to something else anyway but yeah so Ira is pronounced in the English way, okay? And I also know that IRA is like some freaking military thing. All right, it's not my fault. I didn't choose my name, okay? <laughs> like I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so regardless of the origins of my name, whatever, my mom decided that the pronunciation of it is Ira in the English, okay? So don't be like, oh my god, it's pronounced Ira or something like that in some other country or language because I don't tell you how to pronounce your name. Like, I'm the type of person that if your name sounds difficult or is really hard to pronounce or is alien sounding in English or whatever, but in your language and in how you're supposed to pronounce it is that way, then I will make the extra effort to pronounce your name that way, okay? I'm, like, if your name is Kuima, okay, for example, I'm not gonna be like Kaima. No, it's Kuima, okay? 
<laughs> just out of respect. Like freaking respect the way that people are meant to pronounce other people's names. All right? It's just, it's just because like all my life, like especially growing up in a French province in Canada, people have always mispronounced my name for like Iha instead of Ira and like it's so annoying now because they keep saying like oh in Quebec you pronounce your name this way instead of the English way and I'm just like yeah but I don't tell you how to pronounce your name like okay Raji friggin piss off whatever anyway so <laughs> yeah if ever like I visit Russia uh, I mean when I visit Russia someday and like you recognize me whatever because you binge watch my videos and like you see me on the street be like hey Ira not hey Ira okay it's I, like, if you call me the second way, I'm not gonna freaking turn around. Like, there's no Ira here, okay? I answer to Ira. All right? I don't care what country you're at. <laughs> okay, this is me just, you know, um, ça c'est juste moi qui me vide le coeur. Okay, I don't know how to say that in English because I'm like, really <laughs> saying that right now but anyway yeah that was a that was a, a good review i was also able to review like the russian alphabet at the same time like getting re-familiar with the symbols and all of that i'm glad that i found this lesson because it was pretty straightforward and i learned everything that i think i had to learn because um the learning russian in minutes with um svetlana y'all said that there were like a lot of errors in that so i try not to go for that video but if ever i need to like learn basics again and all then i'd probably go for those videos because they're like the shortest ones but uh i also saw that y'all recommended me some other channels so i'm gonna check those out but the, the only issue is that they're kind of long and <laughs> like when i film my learning sessions my video is gonna be like 30 minutes long so that's why i go for the shorter videos but yeah, if you made it till the end, thank you so much. I, I mean, Bolshoye um, Spasiba for sticking till the end. And yeah, I'm so stoked that I got to like get myself back into my learning Russian episodes because for real, learning languages is super fun, but learning a hard language is really like daunting and like sucks the soul out of my body. But yeah, <laughs> at least I'm getting some vocab, you know? So yeah, I, I, I'm happy, I'm happy. Thanks y'all. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe if you want to. And as usual, get out there and be random, because randomness is a lifestyle. So get on board with me and let's embrace it. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!